What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Terror Got Bands, and I'm back with another video, man. I'm back with another vlog. And as you see by today's title and thumbnail, man, your boy is finally I'm talking about finally putting in the new headlights on the Chrysler 300. Like, bro, we've been waiting for this video for like a little minute, and I ain't gonna count, but this is exactly how she's looking, bro. Like, this is how she's looking right now. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna do a lot real quick because I'm gonna put these new headlights on to the Chrysler 300 now I bought these off of Facebook market I've been having them sitting in the garage since I bought them and I ain't gonna lie I have not tested them so bro I just pray that God is with me that these motherfuckers work because if they don't work i am be asked out because I paid some money for this shit and didn't even test it but these headlights came off of a 57 300 um the guy said he didn't want the car anymore he felt like it was too slow so he decided to trade it in and go 5-0 and which i posted a short of that shit on, uh, on youtube but yeah man like i say this is pretty much it this is what i'm about to do right now because um currently i also finna uh i'm finna vinyl out all of this chrome i supposed to did all that last time but you know i was getting kind of lazy bro and i gotta start posting more bro like i be posting one video a week bro i gotta post way more than that so what i'm about to do is i'm about to really go ahead and pop out all of these um these push tabs right here i'm gonna pop out this one this one this one this one and then you know what i'm saying hit these right here the, on the fender flare i'm gonna pop that one out that one out and then I'm gonna unscrew that 10 right there and then once I get everything on loosen and drop, that's when we're going to start taking everything off. So y'all folks, just bear with me real quick. Let me get the popping some of this shit off and I'm going to show y'all me removing this bit. Making this bit. Bumper is off, man. I ain't going to lie. I don't know if this bit worked at all. Bro. Like, I don't know. I probably got scammed. Probably did it. But shit, let's hope we didn't because, bro. I'm gonna be pissed. Here it is. The OEM headlight is finally out. This piece of shit. I ain't gonna say it's a piece of shit. It do look good. They talking run life. But I'm about to. My nigga, did y'all just see that bullet fly out of this shit? Going in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That bit already look nasty. Oh my god, you can't tell me. That don't already look nasty, chat. Like, bro, look how solid that looks. With the t oh my god, that bit look man. I'm finna clean it off a little bit, but we need to see if it actually works. Matter of fact, let me go in the car real quick. See if this jump actually works, bro. All right. Bro, let me turn the lights on. All right. You know what I mean? Y'all see the difference already? Y'all see the difference, bro? This shit trash. Look at the difference already. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, we in the game for sure. We in the game for sure. Let's go ahead and take this one out ASAP. No cap. So now that we are finally done installing the new headlights, I'm going to leave it like this until tomorrow because the reason why I say that, I want to go over this part here i want to go over this part with vinyl and turn all of that black turn the chrysler emblem black and down here this trim all of this black i will vinyl wrap that in the morning so i'm gonna leave it but make it how it is but i'm gonna show y'all like bro it still look good how it is like bro this is a way better upgrade than what i just had on now also like i said man if y'all need any parts from these cars bro Make sure y'all tune into my Facebook, and you, know, you know what I'm saying? I can get y'all whatever parts y'all need. But for now, this is how the Chrysler's looking. I'm about to actually run to the store real quick, and I got to go meet my sister. So I'm going to ride like this until tomorrow. But then tomorrow morning, I'm right at it, and I will tune back in with y'all. And we're going to finish up the wrap and throw everything back onto the car. So I stay tuned. So now that I have the bumper on the inside of the spot, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, basically... Take out all the push pins so I can remove all this chrome, bro. Because all this chrome is really was throwing me kind of off. And um, this is the really the easy part. Because all I have to do is just push these tabs in. Not break my bumper. But I just got to push these tabs in and just pull them all out. But, you know, I got the plastic, you know, pin remover. 
and I'm gonna just go around go along the bumper just taking out each and every one of them so I can get to the chrome part and once I get the, to the chrome part I'll be able to easily just pull that off and I'm gonna vinyl wrap it and use the heat gun so it can lock in and stuff like that and yeah we're gonna see the full process of this but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go ahead and take this off real quick this right here <laughs> let's do it I'm not gonna cap that middle section is hard as hell to get out so what I might do is I might keep the wrap, keep that on there and just wrap it while it's on it. Cause bro, I ain't finna keep messing up my damn fingers, bro. It be hurt. I'm breaking nails and junk, bro. But I got the bottom section out as y'all see. So what I'm about to do is I'm gonna use the vinyl right here, this vinyl wrap. And when I use this vinyl wrap, matter of fact, let me take it out. Okay, so now that I got the vinyl wrap, I'm finna actually go ahead and just, you know, do what I do. Pull out a nice little size and uh, cut it. What's going on YouTube? So, it's another day and what I'm currently about to do right now is I'm about to go and meet somebody on um, Facebook Marketplace because they said they want to, uh, you know, buy the headlights to the uh, charger. Which is not charger, but the headlights to my Chrysler. So what I'm about to do now is I'm about to um, <clears throat> actually go and meet them now. And when I go and meet them, yeah, basically finna get away these headlights right here. Because he called me and asked me, he was like, bro, I'll stay 50 minutes away. I want to get the headlights. I want to put it into my new car. I mean, my car, whatever. Woo -woo. I don't really care. I don't really know what all he can do with this shit but hey man you can have them. now like i said once before i still don't have my bumper on my car yet due to me having to fix this actually let me show y'all tell y'all what was going on so last night i wrapped everything as y'all can see like the bottom part all of it is finally damn my spider got on my shit that fast i just put it in here but i got it all black at the bottom as y'all see but right here i got the grill part right here and bro, I ain't gonna lie, I did terrible on this rap, but I don't care because like, I told y'all I'm not a perfectionist at this shit, bro. I just wanted my shit black. So when I tried to put it in so it can go in like this, bro, I couldn't really put it in because, bro, mind y'all, like that's how it's supposed to be, but on the inside, like right. It's supposed to be on the inside, but I couldn't get it because of this part right here. Got these drill bits, and mind you. <clears throat> I got all the drills and shit right here, but I ain't got no charger to charge the drill to drill that shit out so I can uh put the grill back on there. So I'm going to have to go and get a charger from the store so I can put the bumper back on because the bumper ready and done. I'm not going to put that Chrysler emblem back on there due to that shit is ugly. And I really need to spray paint that shit all black until I get a, uh, the actual SRT bumper because I'm supposed to be buying a new bumper anyway. And um, I finished up the door handles for both. Or the back real ones. I got that done. Now all I need now is just some tint because everything else really straight. I ain't even gonna count. Everything else really mint condition. I got scat sheets and shit in the back. But yeah, other than that, <sighs> my car getting ready for the full swap. I will be um deciding on what I'm gonna do with about that motor later on because I'm trying to think if I'm gonna actually swap it or let somebody else do it. But this is how we currently looking right now with the uh the car. It's still looking the same as yesterday. My fault. It's still looking the same uh, like yesterday and shit. But you know, it, it, it's coming along. It's coming along. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't that bad to me, bro. It honestly look good because I got everything. You feel me? Color coordinated now. Like all that chrome is up out of there. But yeah, I'm about to go and um, meet this dude so we can get him these headlights. And um, when I get him these headlights, I'm gonna come back. Go to the well. I'm gonna go to the store, come back so I can put my bumper back on because that's shit ugly. And also, I gotta get a um, I gotta get a trunk spoiler, bro. And I gotta get this, get this, this up out of here. Like this discoloration, I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but yeah, you can clearly see it. I gotta get that up out of there because once I get that situated and we start the actual process of pulling the motor out of this motherfucker, and you feel me, transmission and all that, we're gonna start changing all that. That's when I will go and get the car painted afterwards. Cause I don't want to get it painted now. We start the process and start scratching it up. Like that'd be pointless. So that's my main goal to get all of this situated. First, like the mechanical shit done. 
and then the cosmetic shit could come after because I'm just doing this temporary for now and giving y'all content. But like I say, man, the scat, I still got to take out everything in here, bro. I still got the front seats in here due to that. T50 bolt being stripped on both sides. I still got the dash in here. The transmission, everything is in there. And also the motor is in here as well. But I just listed the motor for sale due to it being locked. I was going to, damn. I was going to sell the motor for low, bro. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to sell it for like $1,500. Somebody can still rebuild this shit. Like, because Dodge was going to sell the motor for $800 quart. Like, bro, why do that if I can get that money? Like, come on now. But this is what it's looking like right now. But I'm kind of pissed because, like, bro, I knew my car was, like, kind of fucking up. It was still drivable, bro. But my mom, dude, she drove my shit and got down. I just cut off on it. And ever since it cut off, it never had never had goddamn crunk again but hey man i was thinking about rebuilding this bit but i was just like i'm gonna just sell it give it away keep my harness keep my pcm all that and just buy a whole new freshly new motor and once i buy the new motor i won't have to deal i won't have to deal with these problems like bro i'll be straight i can just be cooling but yeah i ain't finna talk your heads off i'm actually finna go and you know meet this dude because the charger is damn near almost gutted i gotta take the airbags out too but yeah that's it let me go in the house and grab my gun because i don't know who this person is for real bro i ain't gonna lie it's hot as hell bro for it to be the end of september bro it's hot as fuck i don't know what's the weather today is but hey it's hot for me it's hot but i got a lot of parts listed on uh facebook market i ain't gonna lie I got, uh, matter of fact, I'm finna go through some of this stuff I got listed as we speak. Cause, bruh, me, me, me selling all of this shit, it'll, it'll help me get my stuff done faster. Like, I ain't gonna count. All of me, all these parts I'm about to sell is basically finna buy my, my, uh, motor. I got the scat pack motor for sale. I got the headlights for sale. I got the hood for sale. I got the doors for sale. The trunk and the spoiler it comes with it. I got both fenders for sale. I got the ties and rims for sale. Because if I sell the ties and rims, I can use the ties and rim money, which I'm selling the rims and ties for uh, $700 because I put new ties on this motherfucker before it fucked up. And then uh, when I sell that, I could just go and add a little bit of chos to it. And then when I add the chos to it, I can basically buy the replicas hellcat five spokes so when i buy the hellcat five spokes i can just throw them on this bit i'm gonna do uh i might get some wide ones i might get some wide ones because i like i like how i sit like the thick ones and then when i put the springs on the car and that bit lower oh my god that bitch gonna be a one i can see it now i can see it now but we gotta go step by step man so y'all folks just stay tuned and i'm gonna start bringing it back a lot of my daily vlogs and me just doing miscellaneous shit like like random random shit throughout the day so y'all be prepared for those vlogs again because like bro i do i do a lot of stuff i go to studio a lot i got uh i do i do all type of shit but y'all folks just stay tuned all right y'all so i just uh sold the headlights and stuff like that you feel me bag secured so right now what i'm about to do is i'm about to run to uh finna run the uh family dollar real quick because i gotta get some more stuff for the house anyway i gotta get me some deodorant and shit so i gotta uh i'm gonna get that and then when I get that, I'm gonna slide and go and grab that charger. Cause I do gotta get that charger for the drill. So I need to hurry up and do that. And I might gotta slide to my mom's house cause bro, it's about to rain and I'ma need to do this in the garage cause I ain't trying to I ain't trying to be sitting out in the rain, fucked up or nothing like that. But yeah, y'all fuck just stay tuned and bear with me. <sighs> so as y'all can see, man, it's currently the next morning and I've been out here working already because this bumper right here, I'm about to actually go and sell it. Like, so, I might as well go ahead and say, long live the scat pack bumper because the bumper is going to get sold right now. Um, I'm selling it for a decent price. I was going to take this off and keep this as a, you know, souvenir, but, you know, who cares about that shit, bro? I can easily buy more. But, um, yeah, I'm going to let it go. So, this is how the scat pack is looking right now. I told y'all, like, bro, I'm, I'm working. I'm not playing. I'm actually getting stuff done. But I'm about to take this support off. Once I get back, I don't took off the cow. I don't put all that right there. And I also just listed these um, windshield wiper arms and windshield wipers. So yeah, I'm about to. That's my trunk open. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and um, meet up with the guy so I can sell this bumper. And yeah, 
we're gonna come back and we're gonna start tearing down the scat pack taking off all the you know the headlights and stuff like that because i'm about to sell those as well and i'm gonna sell this crash bar too because like bro i don't need any of this because this is not none of that is going to go on the scat pack other than the radiator the engine the transmission and stuff like that everything else i'm keeping but like fenders doors everything else it, it's out of here it's getting sold so y'all folks just stay tuned and bear with me all right you too so i'm currently in the car with the bit body bumper man so right now what we finna do is we finna go and uh drop this off to the guy i gotta drive to the city and meet him because he said he kind of stay a little bit farther and when i get back i'm gonna change that door panel i'm gonna go ahead and take that shit out bro i'm, I'm tired of seeing that bro and um, I'm gonna stop by AutoZone, get a T50, so I can see if I can get that bolt out of the uh, scat pack, so I can go ahead and start, you know what I'm saying, getting ready to change my front seats because I know I'd be going to work and shit like that. So the front really be dirty as hell, cause you know what I'm saying I work with a lot of, a lot of mortar and shit like that, dirt and shit, all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's what's gonna go on right now. I'm gonna go stop and grab some gas, put some gas up in the car. And I'm re the reason I'm adding this into the vlog because uh, the vlog was kind of short because all I had to do was change the headlights on the car. But I'm going to go ahead and add this to the video as well. So, you know what I'm saying? Keep y'all folks in tune on what's going on behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that's all what's really going on. I still have yet to put the grill onto the car because I ain't got that drill piece yet. But, hey, we're going to get that drill piece sooner or later. But right now, I'm about to stop by the gas station because we are currently on the we only got 42 miles bro and like i need more gas than that because bro this right here don't make no sense 